Welcome back to Keeping Up in Disney. A couple months ago now, we went on a trip to Disney World in September. We've been uploading the videos from our trip, so if you haven't checked any of those out, do make sure to check them out. But we wanted to make a video here today just kind of talking about our trip, some of the fun things we did, some of our favorite things, answer some questions that we got submitted on our Instagram. And especially showing you what we got on our trip. Who doesn't love Disney merch and souvenirs from a Disney trip? I do. Me too. We're gonna get into kind of talking about our trip and the questions first and then we'll show off our merch. And by the way, so right now I'm drinking an iced chai in a blinged out Ariel tumbler cup that I got from the one and only Myra. And you can get ton of, a ton of these on her site. They have tons of different ones along with ears and I'll show you the back of her card. Which is pretty cool. You can see some of the other cups right up there on the corner. But I love drinking my drinks out of this. Who doesn't want to drink out of a pretty cup like this? It's a really cool cup with the Little Mermaid on it, of course. And don't forget you can use Jamie's code DISNEY15 to save 15% on anything from her shop. Yep. So we'll put the code right here. And we'll put the link in the description of the video as well to the shop. If you saw our video months ago before our trip talking about like some things we wanted to do and try, um, we're going to talk about what we got to do, what we didn't get to do. So we're going to start off with some must try snacks that we had talked about. I really wanted to try the avocado margarita, got to try it. It was amazing. The vlog is up now of our dinner at San Angel. In, and you can see how I enjoyed it there but it's pretty good it doesn't if you're if you're skeptical about it because it's avocado and you think guacamole you're wrong it tastes very fruity and kind of has like a banana like cantaloupe taste to it and even Ari tried it and he liked it and he doesn't even like avocados so yeah, I'm, I wouldn't say I I liked it. Like, I wouldn't order it he myself, said it was good. but I could tolerate it, and I, I'm not a fan of avocados at all, so take that for what it is. The next thing on our list was the Gaston Cinnamon Roll. That vlog has not been uploaded yet. It's actually coming next for our Magic Kingdom vlogs, and I did end up trying the Gaston Cinnamon Roll, and little little preview here for our vlogs. It was delicious. I really enjoyed it. And they're giant. It was huge. Like, I know I've seen pictures. It's called a giant cinnamon roll, but... You know, when you're there and it's on a plate, it's, you know, even bigger than you would expect. We had watermelon Dole Whip on our two try list, but sadly we did not get around to it. Nope. But there's always for another time. White chocolate celebration cake? Again, no. <laughs> and it was right in our Landscape of Flavors food court. I kept saying that the whole time that I really wanted it, but we just never got around to it, even though we swore that we would this time. Tonga toast, also no. Next time, that's definitely a must still. Joffrey's Mickey Donut, they didn't have it. The next one. Simba pretzel, they did not have it as you guys all saw. They did have Mickey pretzels. That video is up. Yeah. So they, we'll put it above. Yeah, they did have Mickey pretzels and I still think about Mickey pretzels and my beloved Simba pretzel every single day, but can't have that now. We did have the Moara margarita on there, which we did get and you did see, and it was very good. I will say I wasn't really a fan of the boba because it would kind of like clog up like the paper straw a little bit. So it's kind of hard to like suck those out of there, but like it felt kind of crazy when they popped in your mouth and I've never really had anything with those in them before, so. They taste good. I like yeah. them, they're fun. It's just hard in a drink sometimes. Yeah. The grilled cheese at Woody's. We yes. did have that. Yeah, we had it. And that it video was actually just uploaded from our part one of Hollywood Studios. So we'll go ahead and link that above as well. So you can check that one out if you haven't seen it. But it was so good. And I talk about that all the time too. We've tried to since recreate it. So maybe at some point too, we'll throw on the channel, you know, us doing our recreation of an at home Woody's grilled cheese. And if you have tried that at home, let us know. And of course, along with the grilled cheese we had to get grown-up lemonade which we had on our list and it was amazing it kind of has like a fizzy taste to it like 
I think we might have mentioned that in the vlog, which is also live now, which you can go watch if you haven't yet. 10 out of 10, I will say for that drink. It's a great drink, I agree. Art of Animation Bounty Platter, we did do that. That was also, I think actually just in our Hollywood Studios part one video too, we got it before yeah. we went there. That will be in the same one as the Woody's Grilled Cheese, actually and, we'll link it above again. And we also got it more times after that, which you will see soon. Cheesy hash brown casserole from the Grand Floridian was also no. on our list. No, we didn't get around no, to that. sadly not. Crazy candy apples. No, we didn't get those, but we saw a couple in Disney Springs and around the parks, but we just didn't stop to get one, maybe next time. I will say right now they do have really cool 50th anniversary ones that I really want to try. And, and cool Christmas ones that I've seen too, so just right now would be a good time for candy apples, but unfortunately we're not at Disney. Just so. tons of Halloween ones they did have, because we were there around. Yeah. The next item though, the Curiouser and Curiouser Slush, I did try that. That was in uh, one of our first Magic Kingdom days that is posted now too, so we'll link that above. That it one was, was really good. good. It was pretty much just like a blue raspberry lemonade slushy, but it looked really cool, it was pretty. I enjoyed it. Mermaid Slush, we did not get. Mm. I don't really know why. We just saw it and we stopped at the place and we were like, oh, there's the Mermaid Slush, we should get it. And we were at the ride multiple times, we just, you know, it was never the right time, so. And was never really in the mood for a slushy, so it's okay. Jumbo pretzel with beer cheese? No, but that's from Baseline Tap House. That's yeah. definitely a next time thing because we want to go back there 100%. They also have charcuterie there, so that's like Baseline Tap House. We're going. We didn't there for have sure. a lot of time in Hollywood Studios. Only we just one had day. one day. We didn't really get to park hopping there, but. It's okay, we'll be there longer next time. The last item on our must-try snacks, the green pistachio cake from Morocco. I did try that, it is not yet in the vlogs. It's gonna be on one of our later Epcot days, but let me just say that cake was amazing. I would go back just for that cake. I wish they would have that as an all-time thing because it was not only beautiful, it was amazing. So honestly, like a 10 out of 10 item right there. Best of the food and wine fest for me. And I will say, it is a really cool like dessert to take pictures with around Morocco too because there's some tables and like scenery there that kind of match the little white chocolate candy on top. The tile work of Morocco, it's really yes. cool. And now we're just kind of going to go through some of the questions that we got asked on our Instagram about our trip and some of the most common things that we've heard just kind of out of curiosity about our trip or Disney trips in general. So first question was favorite ride this trip. That's kind of hard. I enjoyed all the rides as always. I would maybe say you can go. I'm going to go Flight of Passage just because it's, it's always amazing the smells it just reminds me of being in disney world and um ever since we went on our trip in 2019 that's been like one of the rides that i most anticipate going on and get super excited for the weights weren't too bad this time we usually got on in like 45 minutes or less so it was just a really good experience being able to ride that a few times while we were there i would say of course my favorite ride is always flight of passage but i did really enjoy um, Seven Dwarf Mine Train this time and actually Rise of the Resistance because I enjoyed Star Wars Land a lot more this time. Oh, me too. I did really like Rise of the Resistance. It's such a cool ride. I did ride Space Mountain this trip, but I wasn't as scared of it as I was the first time I went on it. I think the more times I get used to going on it, I'll enjoy it more. And we'll link it above too because we actually had a super cool opportunity in that first part of our Magic Kingdom Day too. We'll put it above where we saw Space Mountain with the lights on from the People Mover. Also, I will say I did actually enjoy the People Mover a lot this trip because we've never been on it before. I've never been on it when I used to go when I was younger and I just enjoyed it. It's very relaxing. It was cool. And it's a cool place to take pictures too. I really enjoyed it too. Favorite park this trip? I'm gonna say Animal Kingdom. Every time we were in Animal Kingdom, it was probably the least busy of any of the parks, the rides, most of them, except Flight of Passage. So if you watched our first park day, when we first got there, Flight of Passage was at like an 100 minute wait, which was crazy. But every other ride in the park while Flight of Passage was 100 minutes, every other ride was like 
15, 20 minutes, not a big deal at all. So we can just do those rides in the meantime and then come back to Flight of Passage. And Animal Kingdom is always just, it's got like a really relaxed vibe to it. It's much more open. I love the rides there. Love being able to see the animals and just kind of explore and relax there. So Animal Kingdom is always a favorite of mine, but this trip especially, you know, it was great. I would say, I would say my favorite park of this trip, honestly, okay, this is a hard one. I always love Epcot, but I did really enjoy Hollywood Studios this time, despite the rain at the beginning of the day, but we just did a lot of fun stuff all day, and I don't know, I enjoyed it more than like all the other years that I went, but Epcot would be my second one up there because I love traveling around the world. Me too. But I had a great time in Hollywood Studios. I just wish that we had more time there. Favorite drink? Mine would probably be the avocado margarita because I really wanted to try that for so long and then finally got to and it was really good. I just wish that I had gotten another one that trip besides that one. My favorite drink was the Purple Lambo. So this, if you don't know what the Purple Lambo is, first of all, go to Homecoming. If you're of age and you like alcoholic drinks, go to Homecoming, order a Purple Lambo. They should know what it is. Our server told me that, you know, they all kind of know what it is in the kitchen and around the it's restaurant. It's like secret yeah. like drink that all the workers know. So if, you, if they don't though, for any reason, what it is is um, a combination of their blue hooch and the rum shine punch mixed together. So it's kind of like one is blue, one is kind of like reddish and mixed together, they make this really cool purple color. And it's, the taste is amazing too. It was one of my favorite drinks. So. I tried some of it and it was good, but just re be prepared because it is strong. Yeah. So if you like moonshine, you gotta go to homecoming. Absolutely. And fried chicken if you like that too. Favorite new food? That's kind of a good lead in because I'm just gonna say my favorite new food was homecoming. Honestly, it was a ton out of ton. I really, there's not a single thing I could, you know, critique for homecoming. It was delicious. And he really wanted to try that for a while too. So that was good. I did really enjoy homecoming as well. I really did enjoy the mango guacamole from San Angel Inn. It kind of had mangoes like top done like on top of it. I did like that a lot and the salsa there actually, but I did enjoy the fried chicken from homecoming a lot, but I always wanted to try the guacamole and Epcot at Disney, so finally got to and I liked it a lot. Our next question was, what was the difference being in Disney like crowd-wise from this year and last year? Because last year they had just opened a little bit before we went. I would say this year was definitely busier. Last year felt so much more empty, but weirdly enough, last year, a lot of our wait times were about the same or even longer than this year for like rides and transportation because last year, even with less people, they were so focused on after like every time someone would ride a ride, they would sanitize everything, wipe it down. Everything was super spaced apart. They were, every person had their own ride vehicle always. It was like six people and they could be on a bus. This year, it was pretty much back to normal where everyone, you know, had masks on and stuff, but there was no social distancing. There was no spacing. The Only buses, masks indoors yeah, as well. Yeah, no masks outdoors and like lines were stacked. Crowds were crazy when you were still outside. So that was the main difference. Um, but wait times even this year, even with more people, they were still pretty short, which we've heard now has gotten a little bit worse because of the lightning lane in the Genie Plus, which is making everything get clogged up because they're letting lightning lane people through. So not sure how standby queues would be now, but it's definitely gonna be even different when we go back next time. And also, I would say the buses, also when we did take bu like the buses to the parks and Disney Springs, it was a lot better this year because last year I think we waited a while to go to Disney Springs sometimes for the buses and I don't think they were, were as bad No, yeah, this like year. a lot of the time the buses and, were so crowded we were standing on them but we would get on really quickly. But yeah, they were more crowded this year but last year they weren't because they only allowed so many people. Any cons about the trip or anything we would change? I just wish that we had like 
an extra like Hollywood Studios day and just like a rest day because do we, we had seven full park days and all those days we went to a park each day. So like it, it did busy. get a little tiring and our feet did hurt really bad at the end of it, which is expected during your Disney trips. But yeah, we normally go a little bit longer, but it was still fine. But yeah, just we, you always want more time when you're in Disney. You never want to leave. So yeah, so. I think basically just we wish we had more days, but you know, that's always, you, you're you always going to wish you had more days at Disney. And the only other thing that would be a con, but was really, you know, our our own fault. We just never took advantage of our park hopper, so. Well, we do that every single time. We always get the park hopper and think we want to jump. And, and we, we, we did don't. mention that in the video going to, Di about us talking about going to Disney was that we were actually going to take advantage didn't. of it. Someone asked us if we had any tips for when it rains in Disney World and it's without a doubt going to rain probably every day you're there. So. Always check the weather before you go to the parks, but always bring ponchos. And I like to always put a little mini umbrella in one of our lounge fly backpacks. So we have, you know, ponchos if we need them, but also if it's not raining as hard and we don't want to pull out full ponchos, we'll just quick pop up the umbrella to cover us. But, so it works out really nicely. Yeah, and also just remember going through security. Here's a tip for going through the security. Take out your portable chargers and your umbrella if you do bring one because those will go off and it's just a lot quicker to get through it without them having to search your bag. So. Yeah, so if you know you have something that's gonna go off, like an umbrella, if you take it out and hold it in front of you while you're walking through the scanner, they'll see it and if that's the item that goes off, they won't, you know, search your whole bag. So it does make it easier. Like for example, I always almost have the camera and the umbrella in my backpack whenever we go into the park. So if I take out the camera and the umbrella and just kind of hold them in my hands, then the rest of my backpack wouldn't go off and they would, you know, see it's a camera and an umbrella. Also for the rain though, just say like, don't let it, stop your day like if you have things you want to do sometimes the rain can be a good opportunity to find like, things get to on do things. inside yeah, find things to do inside look in some stores you normally wouldn't so best sit down meal this is kind of tied together with our favorite food but there are two that really stood out to me that we did while we were there it's homecoming which we already mentioned is my favorite food and san angel Inn. i really did enjoy the just the uh, atmosphere and the ambiance there was amazing yeah i would say san angel Inn because I really wanted to go there. I don't know if Oga's Cantina would be considered like a sit down. We stood. Okay, never mind. It's a stood up meal. Um, Not a meal. It's just stand up drinks. Stand up drink meal. <laughs> um, but I'm going to have to go with Homecoming too. Normally I would say Wine Bar George, but I'm gonna have to go with homecoming because I ate every single thing off of my plate and it was, it was so us. We, amazing. We cleaned our plates, it was so good. But now we are going to get into the exciting part and show you guys what we bought in Disney. First start off with what I got in our lobby in our hotel. So we stayed at Art of Animation, which is, everyone knows, like my favorite resort because of the theming. I got this shirt and it's just like a t-shirt and just has like the lion king little mermaid cars just all the themes of everything that they have at that resort and it's in a pretty blue color kind of looks like the ocean like in waves and stuff so i really like this in epcot in germany they have a christmas shop there with tons of ornaments and i always love looking around in there and i had to get this it's a dopey ornament it's exclusively made for walt disney world theme parks so he's super cute i don't even know if i want to take him out of the box and put him on the tree yeah he's really cute He's just really special and I think they had this there a couple years ago. I'm really excited that I got something. It was a bit expensive, but it was worth the money. I also got this spirit jersey from Epcot as well. I got this in France. I saw this online actually before we went there. It says ooh la la on the back in Epcot World Showcase. It's white and just like kind of rose gold or pink and sparkly and then it has the eiffel tower and just pretty flowers 
surrounding it and also mini. Mademoiselle mini. Oh, fancy. Yeah, it does say that right there yeah. too. I really wanted this one and you haven't seen this yet because I got this the last Epcot day, but the guy gave me some pixie dust and discounted me the spirit jersey, so that was awesome. And I really love this one. I also got just this rose gold basic Disney World spirit jersey. I love rose gold. Kind of had a theme with my spirit jerseys that I had gotten this year. So I really like this one. And then last but not least. You've seen this one in the videos if you've checked them out yet. I got the Porg. Oh, it's a puppet Porg. So I got him, you've seen it. I'm obsessed with him. I got him in Hollywood Studios and I had a lot of fun with him there. Tinkerbell loves him. Um, it's her little boyfriend. Oh, and she wants to come see him. Hey, look. look at it, it's your friend. Oh, oh, look oh, at She loves him. See, she loves to kiss him. So, it's kind of become more of like her little play buddy instead of mine. <laughs> hey, but no we, biting we the love pork. pork. It's such a fun little puppet. And actually, so um, as you saw in the vlogs, it came in this box, like a little cage for it. It's actually a cool, like, little souvenir. It's his just creature, from, creature yeah. Cage. It's just a cool souvenir from Star Wars Land. I mean, honestly, we still don't know what a porg is because we haven't seen Star Wars, but we'll find out soon. We'll have to watch Star Wars and get ourselves more familiar. So I think it's Ari's turn now to show what he got. So the first thing that I'm gonna show here is a souvenir that I got. If you count this as a souvenir, I'm counting it as a souvenir and I wanna talk about it. It's this Art Smith King of the Kitchen. It's a souvenir collectible mug. And look, you can even see it's got his face on it. It's so funny. So this here, I can't remember the exact deal at the moment, but I think, so while you were in the restaurant, you pay for the price of this refillable mug here and it's slightly more to start with, but it is a bigger one. It's a 22 ounce. And then the refills in the 22 ounce are at the price of the you know smaller drink when you want to refill this one. And you can bring it back with you next time for cheaper but bigger drinks. So I'm gonna bring it the next time we go to Disney. I'm definitely getting another purple Lambo. Honestly, there's like an outdoor bar section of homecoming too. So the next time we get to Disney Springs, one of the first stops might be taking the souvenir cup to go fill up a purple Lambo. Yeah, and I might even need to try one myself. We'll see. I definitely recommend getting one of these, especially if you're gonna go to homecoming multiple times. If you like trying moonshine drinks, it's a great deal. And it's an awesome little souvenir cup. It does have a detachable little like koozie thing too. So, you know, if you wanted to take the koozie off and put it on another can, it's kind of cool too if you want a Art Smith's homecoming koozie. Staying in the theme of Jamie's Porg, we're gonna look at some of the fun pork items that I got. So first, talked about it a couple times in the videos, I ended up getting the pork that was from the Art of Animation gift shop. So there were two different little pork shoulder pals that we had seen around. One was like more furry and slightly different. This was the other one that I kind of liked the way this one looked better. His face looks funny and kind of cute. So he has a shoulder pal. He detaches to that little magnet you can put under your shirt and he'll kind of sit on your shoulder if you want him to. So he's so, so cute. I'm a big fan of him. Yeah, look at them together. Look at it's a two little porgs. Mommy porg and a baby porg. Yeah, it's so cute. <laughs> and then continuing on with the porg fun, look what we got here. It's the Porg mug. It's from Olga's Cantina. Yeah, and actually, so I'll put the link in the description too. They did actually put this on Shop Disney now. So previously you had to go to Olga's. We went on a trek to get there. We bought the Cliff Dweller. Now you can just order it on Shop Disney, but it's not as exciting. If you really want the Porg mug and the full experience, still go to Olga's, still go there for this. But if you know you're not gonna get there and you want a Porg mug, you can't get it on Shop Disney, but it's awesome. This material, it's like really nice ceramic. And the tree on the back, so it's kind of like a tree. It looks like it's carved into a tree almost. This part is like really, it kind of feels like a chalkboard. Like the material is different. Like it feels oh, like yeah. it's like the texture like of a wood. tree. Yeah, like wood. And then up here, this is like soft, like the carved portion. So it is a really cool mug. It's awesome details. It's from Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. 
really cool souvenir. So super glad we got that at Oga's. If you haven't seen the video, you can check that out. They did while I was there. So I ordered the Cliff Dweller. They gave me the Cliff Dweller in a pork mug to drink, but then also gave this little one wrapped up nice in a box on the side. So you didn't actually have to take like a dirty mug and carry that around with you. The next thing I got, of course, I had to get this. We saw it one of the first times we walked into World of Disney on one of our first days and I was like, I'm gonna need that. So it's a big feet, Dale. He's so cute. He's he very soft too. Very, very soft. This was soft. one of the very few like Bigfoot plushes that they actually had, which is actually sad, but good for Ari because it's his favorite. Yeah. But I, they don't have a lot of like Bigfoot plushes. Normally I come back every trip with a stuffed animal and the only reason I didn't besides the puppet pork was because like they just don't have a lot of stuffed animals coming in right now. I think they're getting more now but ever since COVID and manufacturing people have said that's why. Yeah, so I did get the Big Feet Dale. Dale is my favorite. I love him. But I was hard on the hunt for Big Feet Orange Bird while we were there and it was just a no-go. He was nowhere, so at least I came home with this one and he is so cute. But speaking of Big Feet Orange Bird, here's what I did get that was for the Orange Bird. So, here is the Orange Bird Spirit Jersey. This was actually from Flower and Garden Festival, I think, but it had, um, you know, moved from Flower and Garden after the fest was over over to Disney Springs and was being sold in the co-op. And we actually didn't know it was there. I was kind of hoping to find this one, thinking I might have to like buy it off eBay because I missed it at the fest. And shout out one of the personal shoppers that we talked to because she did let us know, like, was like, hey, I'm pretty sure that's just in the co-op. You guys should go check there. So we did and it was there. And not only was it there because it was in the co-op and had been there since Flower and Garden, it was discounted down to like $60 too. So I was looking for this spirit jersey. I wanted it. Not only was I able to get it right in Disney Springs while we were there, I got it for a discount. So that was awesome. I really, really love the Spirit Jersey. Love the Orange Bird. I can wear it with my backpack or any of my other Orange Bird stuff. Oh, one other thing too. We'll throw a picture in or link the video where we made it. It was also Magic Kingdom Part 1, but I did make a custom Peter Pan Magic Band in the Magic Kingdom right outside of Space Mountain and wrote my name on it and it took like 30 minutes to make. And while we did that and kind of waited for it, we rode the People Mover and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. So that was really cool. I don't have the Magic Band with me right now, but it's, it's really cool. It's a Peter Pan's Flight Green Magic Band and it says my name on it. And the personalization aspect of it was really cool too. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out that Magic Kingdom video to kind of see that process. The next thing that I got that we talked about a lot before going and was one of the things that I was really on the lookout for is the leopard sequins lounge fly. Which I love because I love leopard and cheetah print. I like it too. It's a really cool looking lounge fly. I like the animal print on it. I, I just like collecting lounge flies too. So I figured like we'll add it to our collection if Jamie uses it, cool. I will 100% use this because who wouldn't? Yeah, I like the sequin ones. I like um, Disney Parks bags. They're all really cool. And this is great for Animal Kingdom. But you can see, you know, it's got the amazing sequins with the leopard print there. And then you got black accents, a really cute bow. And it's just overall like, it's a really nice bag. It's super cool. Awesome souvenir from Disney. And actually we had been looking for this. I was so on the hunt for it on our first Animal Kingdom day and it was nowhere. I thought we weren't gonna be able to get it. Our second Animal Kingdom day, it was one of our last days at Disney and it was just in one store. Like we looked in a few stores, it was nowhere else and I managed to run into it at one store and I instantly was like, all right, I'm just gonna get it. You know, don't wanna miss out and take the chance. So it's here. It's really, really cool. We're glad See we got it. this. I like it, I want it, I got, we got it. <laughs> and, okay, so. Here's the popcorn lounge fly. And? The popcorn spirit jersey. Okay, so here's the story. This lounge fly, originally when it kind of released, I saw pictures of it online and I was like, oh, I don't know how I feel about the popcorn bucket lounge fly uh, from pictures. I was like, it's kind of, you know, it's not my favorite, but then when we got to the parks, I started seeing it around more and it was really growing on me. And I was like, I do like, you know, Disney popcorn. I like Mickey popcorn buckets. This is a kind of cool lounge fly. It's really unique. It's it screams Disney parks. Like where else are you gonna find something like this? If you look closer, even like in the popcorn bucket there, there's applique of the popcorn. 
and it's just like it's got a lot of really cool details it's supposed to be scented it doesn't smell a ton but here's what happened i hadn't gotten any other lounge flies yet at the point that i bought this one and we were kind of coming up to the end of our trip i wasn't sure if i was going to get the leopard or any others and i was like i want a trip souvenir this popcorn one is growing on me so i bought it and i'm really happy with it because it ended up it's honestly it's grown on me a lot i like it and then when we got back we started seeing that they released the spirit jerseys of the popcorn in the parks and i was like i need that to match my you know popcorn backpack ended up getting added to shop disney you know a week or two later and it was pretty much an instant purchase and for me it actually the little logo right there it kind of smells like popcorn a little butter bit. and specifically this part so on the left sleeve there's a popcorn bucket this part's kind of like rubbery material almost this smells the most like popcorn and i mean i've washed this shirt now so it doesn't really have too much of a scent anymore but if anything still smelled scented that's it it's this little bucket right here so it's kind of cool you know it's fun it's a slight smell and the other thing it's gonna come up in our videos it's gonna be a thing. I was on the hunt for one specific thing that I wanted so bad. Saw it the first day we got there, I didn't buy it, and then the whole rest of the trip it was sold out. And it was terrible because I really, really wanted it. I wanted it to bring back. So by the time like we were on our last day, I knew I wasn't gonna get it there. I went on to Shop Disney and placed an order for it because I was like, I'm not gonna miss out on this. The Chippendale popping out of the pumpkin. So. I ordered it there and then we got back from our trip and it pretty much showed up like two days later. So it was kind of like, you know, a trip souvenir because I <laughs> really wanted it there and didn't get it. So this is what I would have brought back if I had bought it the first day and not missed out before it sold out. And then last but not least. So along with that other story, I've been looking for, you know, either the leopard bag, another one to take home as a souvenir before I bought the popcorn. We couldn't find them anywhere. This was the other one that I was looking for, so I ended up doing the same thing as the Chippendale, basically. It was never in the parks while we were there, so I ordered it off Shop Disney, so it would pretty much be there when we got back. Here is the purple wall. Yeah, so we love the purple wall. We love the whole theme of, you know, like taking iconic things from Disney and turning them into backpacks. It's awesome. We love the idea. This one totally stuck out to us. We really wanted to find it there and buy it as a trip souvenir, but we couldn't find it anywhere, so. I really wanted the purple wall jacket. So we ended up with like, you know, three backpacks that we, we wanted to find the purple wall there. We wanted to find the leopard. We didn't find purple wall. We didn't find leopard at first. So I bought the popcorn and then I found the leopard and I bought the leopard and then I still just wanted the purple wall. So ordered that and the Chippendale online. And that's, you know, Great souvenirs, love everything that we got from Disney, the couple things that we couldn't find at Disney and had to order in, but that's okay. Thanks for watching our video and seeing what we got in Disney and just talking about our trip. If you do ever have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments, we'll answer them, or you can reach out on Instagram, we'll put our Instagram below and in the description too, if you ever want to. Let us know what was your favorite of these items. Let us know if you know, you've been following along with our trip, what's been your favorite part so far, and do make sure to check out the vlogs of the trip if you haven't yet, because we're gonna keep uploading through the rest of them soon. So thanks for keeping up in Disney, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on if you haven't yet. Bye.